Hi there. Um, so I recently uploaded um, <clears throat> some files on GitHub. It's at this. Um, it's at GitHub.com forward slash red HWK forward slash and it's the UFPS editor inventory. Um, I also included this um, uh, Unity package. Um, so, so basically, uh, I'm going to show you what this inventory can do, and um, so you're going to want to download it. Uh, what I did is I downloaded it to my computer. Um, I also downloaded this uh, free guns pack from Mushu Labs. So once you download the inventory to your computer, you're going to want to import the package. Um, it's this editor inventory package. You don't need all the other files unless you want to look at them individually. Um, and it's going to ask you, it's going to basically create a new folder called Red Hawk. And you're going to Im import that. What I did was I loaded up the clean scene. And you want to find the, um, I'm just going to grab the advanced player. And on this inventory, I'm going to turn the inventory off because I don't want to have to deal with the inventory. So if I look under this, I've got the different weapons. There's four weapons that come with it. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is this. Um, I have a weapon item inventory. Um, your prob yours probably won't pop up like this. So you're going to have to open your item list. And I included an example one. Um, you're going to open that. It's, uh, it's located under... Um, <clears throat> it's this one right here. It's this um, Mushu range weapon list. So you're going to want to uh, find that. Open it. And then you'll see that I created... Here, let me dock this real quick. It's a dockable window. So you'll see that I created um, four different weapons based on what was included. They have the rocket launcher, sci-fi rifle, submachine gun, and a shotgun. And so I just created some settings for the sci-fi rifle, submachine gun, the shotgun, and the rocket launcher. And... Um, if you look at each of these, um, so I created a inventory type, which I included. Uh, basically, I just duplicated the machine gun just to get the idea, the point across. Um, I've got some settings exposed. This is obviously not every setting. I mean, if we come over here and we look at the um, rendering, you see there's a lot more settings than what I'm exposing. I'm just looking at the position and rotation. Um, the Anything that's not in here, it's going to do defaults. Um, I, I added a weapon icon just in case for some reason you need it. And then I've got uh, different foldouts for, uh, for everything. And I've got different weapon states. So I've already set these up for the weapons to give examples. And all these presets are in the different folders for... Um, each of the gun, each of the weapons. So you'll see they're all assigned. I'm using the defaults right here for out of control and the slide for all of them. Um, and then the projectile, I've got the settings set up for each of them. So if you scroll through, you'll see they're all different. And then I've got a fold out for uh, shooter motion settings in case you need to change those. Uh, the only weapon state, I just grabbed the zoom state because when I look over here at all the example ones, most of them just have the zoom, so I'm just including that one. Uh, for the, I've got a place for the muzzle flash and the shell, and I also have a shell size. And then you've got the fire sounds. And then for reload, I'm not doing reload on this one. If you want to use the reload, you're going to have to re-import the um, models because the models uh, just 
the sci-fi rifle, the shotgun, and the machine gun have a um, an animation, but the the rigs they need to be changed to legacy if you want to use the um, the reload animation that they have. So I'm not I'm not using the reload, um, but it's here in case you need it. Um, for each of these weapon states, when it loads in, I also set some of the basic um, the blocking pieces. So right here, like if um, like if the attack state, you know, it blocks different things, and the run state blocks different things. So I use these defaults um, that are loaded as examples. And I'm just doing the exact same thing. So what you can do with this screen is you can either show your, you know, you can find your item list that you've created. You can create a new one. Now you want to be careful with this. If you hit create new, it's going to create a new list. And it's going to put it in the scriptable object folder that I have. As soon as you create it, you're going to want to rename it. Um, to whatever you want to call it. And then every time you create a new one, it's going to create it in that exact same spot. So here you can add items. You know, it's got, um, I have defaults just to give you something to start with. Uh, not everything has a default. So you can see uh, the new weapon. You've got lots of things you have to fill out. So you can keep on adding weapons. You can give them different names. Um, you can delete them and over here in the inspector you can actually look at the scriptable object and you can expand it and you can make tweaks here if you want um, I like the window better um, and you can delete items so I'm going to close that tab now I'm going to show you how it works um, you can ignore this um, I like to or this create a new Weapon list, it'll do the same thing that it did from the editor. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to build the UFPS weapon. Tell it which list you're using. So I'm going to use the example one that I sent, that I included. You're going to want to pick the weapon. So here, let me do the rocket launch. Well, yeah, I'll just do the submachine gun. So you're going to find your weapon. So they have prefabs. I'm just going to grab the sci-fi rifle. And let's call it the 5 sci-fi rifle. Now you have to tell it what camera you're using. So we're going to use that advanced player. Sorry. And build and assign the weapon. The weapon is assigned. So you'll see it's right here. If I hit play, it's going to have all the settings. Um, see, there's the weapon. I've got the zoom set up. It'll fire if you're running, if you're crouching. So I have all the basic weapon states set up. Um, of course. Yeah. So you can change settings. So then from there, you've got a a base starting point. You know, it assigned the, the item identifier, it assigned the projectile. Um, so this would be the same thing for all the weapons. Now the rocket launcher, I'm, I, I included a, um, a projectile. So I modified the VP grenade so that it'll explode when it hits something. So I included, I just created a really basic, um, a really basic projectile right here. Um, it's really similar to, it uses stuff that's included, so it's nothing fancy. It's just, it's just an example. So if we do the same thing, so you're thinking maybe I'm going to use a grenade weapon, but we're just going to use a regular UFPS weapon. So if I go to this list and I grab the rocket launcher, then I'm going to assign the 
this rocket launcher. And I'm going to call it uh, six rocket launcher. And I'm going to assign the same camera. And then I'm going to build it. So what you have now is you've got a, a decent example for a rocket launcher. So you can see here's the rocket launcher. Zoom in and out. And I actually it actually shoots a projectile. And then when the projectile hits the ground, it's going to explode. Or after a certain amount of time, you'll see it's going to start to come back down and it'll explode. See, it exploded. So if I shoot the ground, it's going to explode when it hits. If I shoot right here, I'm going to die. Or no. Oh, it's going too fast. So it's not working right here because it's, it's going too fast. Anyways. Um, so basically that's it. Um, I also included a build a melee weapon or a grenade uh, weapon. All this does is it just copies the Hero HD weapon for you and assigns it. Um, you know, my whole thought around this was to be able to share weapon settings with people. Um, I've got a readme file where the file is located. So, so that's it. I just wanted to, to show you what I created. Um, maybe useful for people. I figured it would be useful to say, you know, set up a bunch of weapons for, you know, a particular asset like I did here. And then maybe you want to assign all your arms and everything, set up the prefabs, and then save those settings in case you want to load them into another project or something, or share them with another teammate that you're working with on a, a project. Just kind of makes it easier to share the settings, even though the settings are, you know, high level. There, you can obviously um, go into a lot more. You can add a lot more. Um, a lot more defaults than what I have here, um, but these are like the most uh, important ones that I thought. So there you go. Enjoy. I hope this is useful to somebody. If it is, please let me know. And if you want something different changed on it, let me know. Since it's GitHub, I can uh, update it pretty easily. Thanks.